Hi there, thank you for watching. Dan here, I'm here again on another walk in the park after another morning spent working on Moon Taxi. Uh, this morning I was working on the camera controls to let the player move the camera around with the thumbstick on the gamepad, and I'm pretty excited about how that's coming together. And if you'd like to take a look and see for yourself, see the description for this video and sign up to be a play tester, and I'll send you a build right away. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about uh, not so much where the game is at, but more where the game is going and the overall sort of game design plan that I have in mind. There are basically three fundamental pillars or gameplay loops uh, in Moon Taxi as I envision it. One are the jobs that you get to take something from point A to point B and you get paid for doing so. Uh, two are the mini-games or flight challenges uh, which put the player through their paces trying to do something. For example, fly really low and really fast or you know try to land as close to a target as you can from really far away or intercepting a target in the air. Those are the three that I have so far, but there'll be a lot more of those to come. Uh, that's number two. And then number three will be uh, exploration. Uh, so that's what I, what I kind of have in mind. And, and the first two of those, the jobs and the mini games, there, there's a lot going on there already. And, and like I said before, if you want to see that in person for yourself, sign up to be a play tester, check out the description for a link to do so. Uh, so that's where we're at, but how about uh, where are we going? Uh, what's the plan that I have in mind? So let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, first of all, the jobs, at the moment they're just random, but eventually the jobs will be tied into the mini-games. Uh, one of the ways that I have in mind for that is that the mini-games will all consume kind of uh, spare parts. Like, for example, when you intercept a target, that consumes a part, and then you'll have to do eventually a job to take five or ten more spare parts to the location, and then you can do five or ten more of those games. And you'll get paid for doing so and get experience points and everything else. It's, you know, it's all part of the progression loop. Um, so the jobs and the mini-games are, are related in that way, um, will be related in that way. Uh, and then the, the mini-games, the, the plan there, um, if you remember a classic game on N64 called Pilot Wings, and it's not the only game to do this, but it's the one that comes to mind for me. Uh, the idea is that the player will, uh, you know, you'll go, the challenges will get harder over time. And you'll have to do well enough on each of the challenges to unlock the next batch. And the mini games will all go on like that. They'll start out pretty simple and, and ramp up to a difficulty that I hope will be really challenging for even, you know, the most experienced players. Uh, so that's those are the first two uh, game loops, the, the bones of which are, are already in in the game, which you can see as a, as a play tester. Uh, but there's a third idea that I have that I haven't really done anything with yet uh, that I'd like to tell you a bit about. Uh, and the idea here is exploration. Uh, I love love games with exploration. I've loved Elite Dangerous, um, you know, Minecraft. Just the idea that you can go out and see what else is out in the world. And um, be rewarded for doing so, or, or punished if you, <laughs> you know, if you don't play well. Um, so what I have in mind is, you know, the world overall will be much larger than it is at the moment. It's it's currently just a placeholder, just to, you know, it's a prototype. But once the systems are in place, the first two systems are in place, the first two pillars and the gameplay loops are all working well, I'll move on to working on um, essentially a big cave system. I have a whole I, uh, I idea in mind for a couple of systems to basically, although the game is 2D, um, you know, make the world feel like it's a moon, uh, you know, a sphere that you can fly all the way around, uh, you know, still on your one 2D plane. And then uh, there will be huge cave systems to explore, which will actually go through the center of the moon and bring you back out onto the other side. Um, so, and you know, going into that mode of gameplay will be very different than the quick bite-sized um, point-to-point jobs or, you know, quick flight challenges, which are all, you know, one or two or three minutes long or something like that. The exploration will be more like load up with a bunch of spare parts, invest a bunch of credits, and set out in the hopes of finding something rewarding. Or, you know, maybe you're doing a salvage mission on somebody else who went in earlier and crashed, and you know where they are. Maybe that person who went in before and crashed is you, and you're, if you get there, you can recover some of the parts that you lost and left at your crash site. So there's a whole idea around exploration there that I plan to get to after the first two systems are complete and I've made a lot of progress on those and I'm making more every day so 
Uh, yeah, if you like what you hear, be sure to check out my uh, Patreon. I'd love to have your support. And um, I'd love to hear from you. Anything you want to see in the game, anything that you think uh, would make this idea more interesting, anything that you heard that you think is a terrible idea, let me know that too. I'd love to hear it. Why not? I'm over here in my bubble having a great time. I don't know what's right and what's wrong sometimes, you know? Anyway, that's the plan. Stick around for more updates. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great one wherever you are in the world. Thanks.